Hello all, Seriously is here, back for another Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to be talking about the fastest way to clear a derelict with bugs. And I don't mean glitches or errors in the game, I mean the creepy crawly monstrosities. And you might think, well, do I need something old school from the game that was a limited time availability only and that only really old legacy saves might have? Like the flamethrower? No, you don't need the flamethrower. Not at all. Don't worry. That, that was clickbait. <laughs> you don't need the flames or the incinerator, I believe it's called. Uh, you don't need this rare upgrade from very old saves that was a very limited time availability before it was removed from the game and then added to the Minotaur recently. Uh, no, you don't need that. The secret to clearing bug-filled derelicts quick is two words, neutron cannon. This is the multi-tool weapon you want. You're not going to need to worry about creeping past these guys. You're not going to need to worry about nothing. Just blast them. Uh, yeah, you're going to want S-Class upgrades. Unlike most multi-tools in the game, multi-tool weapons I should say, uh, you're going to want S-Class, not X-Class as the best upgrades for these. So that's even easier to get than X-Class, so there you go. Uh, you're going to want the P-Field Compressor. As you can see, I'm using a multi-tool that does not have a superlative super slot layout. It's got two beside each other here, it's got another one with a space there, and the fourth one's way over here not the greatest. It just doesn't matter. This weapon is so great, you just put it on your super slots basically wherever they are and it works out amazing. Uh, ignore this number. Uh, this number has recently been shown, at least to me in videos, to be proven completely unreliable even when measured against itself on the same multi-tool. I've seen a video where somebody brought their multi-tool from over 100,000 DPS down to 60,000 DPS, a 40% reduction in the damage potential number. And the damage they did in the game when they shot stuff went up by 25%. So that number just isn't reliable anymore. Anyway, we're going to switch to that neutron cannon. There we go. That's what we're going to want to be on. I have been in this derelict once just to make sure that it had bugs. I mean, I wouldn't want to have to do a tips and tricks video and not have a bug filled derelict. So we'll unseal that door, we're going to turn our flashlight on just for a little bit of extra visibility. Uh, I've only mentioned that I've been here before because normally this teleporter won't be turned on, but as you can see, because I've reloaded the game, I haven't actually been here, it's just a graphical glitch. Alright, so you might come into these derelicts and go, oh, okay, no bugs, I don't need to worry about anything, look, the doors are nice and clear, nothing to worry about, and then suddenly in your next room, you're gonna find out that, oh no, there maybe are bugs here. What do I do? Do I just turn around and go to a different room? No. What we're gonna do is use this weapon here to show you how fast these things work. One, two, two shots. It says seven. Oh, it says zero. There's none left. One, two, eight spawns, zero spawns. There's none left. Two shots. And zero spawns. All done. <laughs> That's all it takes. We can go through this room. We can go to the next room. Oftentimes, I mean, the first door was a bad example, but oftentimes you can get all the strands off these doors with this in one shot as well. One shot, two shot, all done. One shot, two shot, all gone. <laughs> uh, it gets a little bit hairier in rooms where there are massive amounts of egg sacs and this freighter as uh, derelict does have that oh we shot through the door gotta be careful about that but this weapon's great for that too look we cleared the problem with the second shot easy peasy can even shoot around the corner and blow up these these have a great area of effect one shot two shot here we go here we have a room with a lot of egg sacs and we're just gonna Get the close ones that are by themselves with two shots real quick. Oh, we missed. Now you just gotta go ham on the watt on the whole room. But there's such a great area effect that uh, basically anything you hit will also hit a nearby bug. Now the downside of this is, as you can see, we just picked up 145 living slime, and we don't want any of that. 
Uh, so that is the only downside. You might want a couple of extra inventory slots available to you. There you go. All done. No biggie. I don't even know that they got a single shot off on us. Is our, is our shield damaged at all? It doesn't look like it. And there we are in the engine room. Lickety split, even with all of those bugs. Not a problem at all. I've never actually gone to this control panel and seen what this derelict is. I don't think we're even going to show the glyph address because it's probably just a terrible freighter. C-Class or something like that. Yeah, look, that's a C-Class upgrade. There's no reason to come to this freighter in specific. But if you are clearing derelict freighters and... Uh, what? Oh, we can't put our weapon down inside a freighter? That's weird. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you're clearing derelict freighters just to find out if one is an S-Class and you come across bugs and you're like, I think I'll turn around. No, you don't need to. Go get that neutron cannon, get a multi-tool with the neutron cannon, upgrade, installed. Oh yeah, we can put the weapon away out here. Cool. Uh, doesn't need to be a staff, doesn't need to be a sentinel multi-tool. Go get any kind of S-Class multi-tool with your four super slots. Put the neutron cannon on your super slots wherever they are and you will be able to clear these derelicts in no time bugs or no bugs. Uh, but that's it for today. Until next time, have a good time.